Hey y'all, this is Cheryl, and welcome to another Watch Cheryl Scrap. Today I'm going to be uh, scrapping a layout called Date Night, and I'm using a selfie of me and my husband last summer, and some of the food we had to eat, and I'm combining it with a kit called Out and About, um, and this is Out to Eat, I think? I can't remember uh, as I'm recording this now. But the uh, link to the product, name of the product, and link to the product will be in the description box below. So first and foremost, I usually begin each layout. Um, I've really enjoyed grouping my photos together lately, so that's what I started with. And then I'll begin grabbing from the kit the things that catch my eye the first. So at the first, so the good food and good company, table for two and the little glittered banner um, got added first along with some stars. And then the paper with the utensils on it uh, was added. And then of course, I just keep moving from there. So you can see here, I'm just um, actually cutting paper, layering it behind. And uh, once I did that, I really felt like I wanted to uh, move that whole piece around so you see me move that up to the top more and then I'm just gonna continue my layering process now this particular date night was uh, it was last summer and my husband uh, where he works they were they have meetings a lot that are catered and this particular restaurant was doing a lot of the catering and he just kept raving about it so we decided um, we would go out to eat and I was having a good day that day so um, we went over and ate which was all we did but um, we went in it was not crowded at all at the time that we went we had a nice table the everyone was super nice in the restaurant and uh, yeah everything was good about it so we uh, and the food was excellent he was exactly right the food was great so um, I didn't have any complaints about it myself and we had um, a good little talk together we don't do date nights as much as we used to we're approaching our 24th wedding anniversary and you know, they've always said you should, you know, I've read, you should make it a priority that you have a weekly or monthly date night. And uh, gosh, sometimes life just doesn't work out that way. And especially since I have struggled with my back pain, I, I just honestly don't feel like going places sometimes. So we do work around that. We have date night in where uh, my son will go off somewhere my daughter's at college right now and my son will you know go off with a friend or family and we will rent a movie or watch a favorite series that we're catching up on and we'll get a uh, takeout and pull our chairs together and just sit next to each other and eat and then hold hands or whatever it's it's a good kind of bonding thing so we definitely need to do more of it, I know, but, and we'll get there. But I think it's important not only to do it, but to record it like I'm doing here now. So, uh, you know, you can remember um, the good times that you have together. And we have always loved going out to eat. <laughs> That's a, a big thing. So right now you're going to see me struggling. And I, I wanted to leave this footage in because, um, you know, sometimes layouts just do not come together like you want them to and I wanted the layout to say date night and so I work on the title and I think for a while here I'm trying to determine if that's what I want to do if I want to use a different alpha um, and yeah, you can see here, like, no, don't want to use that alpha. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe it would have been okay, but 
I still was struggling. I tried to put a stroke on the font that I made the night. And then I tried sticking some paint underneath it to see if that would help uh, really show off that date night. That didn't seem to help me much. I put in some black paint. See me moving pieces around here and there. Again, duplicating some paint. And it's just getting a bit too much for me. Nothing about it I'm liking as much. So then I'm like, okay, just, you know, I'm, maybe I need a new background paper. So I start pulling in uh, different background papers. Then I take them out completely, uh, trying to get a, you know, separate look like maybe a dark background. <laughs> I was struggling. So if that happens to you, it's not unusual for that to happen at all. Uh, most of the time, I just get in a groove and I do what I like and I go with it. But uh, tonight I was just being a little persnickety about it. And it wasn't jiving with me. So I took out the large ampersand to start off with. Then I duplicated the paint graffiti. Then I ended up keeping only the hearts from it. And so I end up adding a little bit more foliage. And then I go for a title. Um, I think it's just a typewriter font that I end up going with. There's more foliage, more ribbon. And I, I really do like this. I like how all the layers turned out. So you can see here, I'm starting to work on that date night. Going for that um, cleaner typewriter font like the Good Food and Go Company. So I was kind of trying to go with that. And I'm duplicating some of these little flowers and duplicating that frame. And I really do like how well the colors work with the photos, uh, the yellows and, and reds, burgundies, all that is beautiful together. So you can see I've added my journaling, add in a little bit of black paint, but you'll see at the end I do change out the date night for a piece of word art that's included in the kit. Uh, so some final changes there, which I do like how that ended up. I hope you do too, and I hope if you're struggling, just keep going and finish your layout. Thanks so much for joining me and watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!